Hi guys, hi, how's it going? How are you doing today? Hopefully today finds you well. Today I'm doing a good old beauty products empties because I need to get these empties out of my bin before we roll into the new year because I do a year of empties every single year and I calculate the cost of all the products that I used and I need to make sure that these are shown to you before I roll into that video that I'm starting to prep for now so that we know all the things that I used up. So these are just beauty products, not makeup. Makeup empties are shown in my makeup rehab series, which you will also see or have seen recently in the last few days. So with that said, I hope that sounds like something that you're interested in. These are beauty products. They're just not makeup and they all filter into my beauty empties for the year. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, I do hope that you keep on watching. For those of you new here, hi, my name is Donna. I'm a lover of all things high and colorful beauty and self-care. I also work in the beauty industry as a field leader for Ulta Beauty. I get a lot of education in my position. I like to bring you that education here on this channel, but ultimately I'm out here talking about makeup because I like to talk about makeup and I'm assuming if you're here you probably also like to talk about makeup or listen to it or listen to somebody talk about it. <laughs> so I hope that you find that this channel brings solace to your soul in the way that it brings solace to mine and that you'll want to subscribe before you go. And with that said, let's roll into talking about some empties here because I have quite a bit actually. I'm kind of shocked. This makeup look, I am a batch filmer. I batch multiple videos at a time and then just make sure that I have enough to create content every week, three times a week. So long story short, you'll see this makeup, this makeup look multiple times or have seen it multiple times. That said, there is a video that is a Q and A in which I am doing it get ready with me style doing this makeup look. So you'll get to see me put it all together. And now that that's out of the way, let's walk into these empties because I have quite a bit actually. I'm gonna start with hand soap. You all know I love Bath & Body Works foaming hand soaps. I go through quite a few of them. This one is the Bath & Body Works hand soap called All About Fall, y'all. It's got a really cute little pumpkin on the front of it that's kind of like a white pumpkin. It's kind of dirty because it's been in my bucket for a minute. And this one has notes of whipped frosting, sweet cream, and vanilla bean. It smells super good. It is one of their fall scents. So I can't like repurchase it right now, but I did like it a lot. I kept it at my sink in my kitchen and it smells really good. I do think that it has a little bit more of a perfumey note to it than I would love typically, which I don't quite understand because it doesn't list any kind of perfumes as notes in here. But I do think maybe that vanilla bean mixed with the sweet cream is what I am feeling. I don't know. I feel like it's maybe just a smidge bit too perfumey for me and I'm just not sure where that perfume scent is coming from. Two other things that I had from Bath & Body are these these are two of the wallflowers. I do have three wallflower units around my house, one in my beauty space here, one in my powder room downstairs, and one in just my son's room because, you know, boys smell. <laughs> oh, and one there's one in my daughter's room too. So I guess there's four around my house here. This one is in Sunrise Woods. Sunrise Woods was kept in my powder room downstairs. This one is a fresh and relaxing scent and it's had notes of creamy sandalwood, sweet berries, and cozy cashmere. And what I will tell you is that I don't think that this was my favorite scent, if I'm honest. I think it smells good, but it's definitely a bathroom scent. My mom loved it. Every single time she came over and went to the bathroom in my powder room, she was like, oh my God, it smells so good in there. It does, it does smell good. I would repurchase it, but it's not necessarily my favorite. It smells very musky, very manly. This one, Cozy Night or Cozy Sunday Night, is warm and comforting. It was in my beauty room here. And this one has notes of warm cinnamon, crystallized ginger, and vanilla bean. It actually smelled um, much like a cookie, like ginger snaps. 
Uh, to be honest, I loved it so much. I would probably repurchase this in a heartbeat. It is a newer fragrance for them or was new when I purchased it. I cannot remember if it's a fall scent or a regular scent, a core line scent. I do purchase my hand soaps and my wallflowers multiples at a time online during some of their big sales. And I can't remember what season I purchased that in. So I can't tell you when it came new, but really nice scent. I would repurchase that one as well. I have several like skincare items which is super exciting because skincare you know takes a minute to go through not nearly as long as makeup but it does take a, a minute to go through i do have this clinique step two clarifying lotion there is a little tiny bit in it that i'm gonna um, dump into my thing over there because i didn't realize that that was in it when i threw it in here but this is a clarifying lotion that is an everyday uh, item for me it's a lotion exfoliant so it's made specifically for dry combination skin, which is the number two form. They have uh, numbers one, two, and three, I think. Number two is perfect for me because it's for dry combination skin, mostly dry. Sometimes gets a little oily in the T-zone, not very often. This is something that I use every single day. I can see a dramatic difference in how my foundation sits on my skin when I am not using this versus when I am using this. So. I would never be without this, to be honest, and I do have it in a large, large tub um, with a pump at the top, and I just utilize these guys and dump it into my pump, dude, and continue to refill it from these guys. So this isn't necessarily gone, but I, I do believe I just dumped the last of it into there. I'm calling it an empty because in lieu of putting this into my empties because I wanna to continue to reuse it, I put these guys into my empties. I also have the Sunday Riley Luna. This is a sleeping night oil and I have to be honest, I freaking hated this. This is a retinol. What I hated most about this is the smell of it. Like I cannot get past the smell of some of these items. Sunday Riley has some items in their lineup that I really, really love. Like I think of the CEO moisturizer is one of my favorite moisturizers. But when it's bad, it's really bad. And this one is completely empty. I don't know if you guys can see in the bottle, but it has a little smidge bit down in the bottom that I can't get out with the little pepit, but I used it. I won't repurchase it. I did not like it. And in my humble opinion, it's not worth it to me. But that one worked maybe far better than this one. And they do separate things. But this is the something chemist. I can't read it very well. I'm not wearing my glasses. But this does say it's a pure collagen serum with 5% collagen. I did get this in a maybe a FabFitFun. I have to be honest. I'm just not 100% sure where this came from and how it entered into my life but it is a product that you had to mix up it was two different you know parts and you had to mix it up prior to using the little puppet here to get the product out of it i feel like it literally did absolutely nothing for my skin and i know that my skin is not amazing it's not horrible like my skin is actually quite good but i am aging I could use some, you know, collagen, some elastin, some whatever. I don't feel like this did anything for my skin. And uh, I know also that you can't 100% of the time get everything you need from a topical form of collagen. But I really did think that that was going to do something. In my humble opinion, it did nothing but actually make my skin look worse, which wasn't okay with me i kept using it but um it actually took me quite some time to get through because i just wasn't in love with anything it was doing for my skin if it was doing anything but since not using it i feel like my skin does look better so i do think that that had different ramifications for my skin than what i anticipated it would have considering it's a collagen serum I also have this NYX Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. This is one of those products that has 
the two different liquids in the component where you know you have to shake it up because it has the oil and the cleanser in it kind of like the Lancome Bifacil eye makeup remover does so you have to shake it up right this didn't burn my eyes much like the Lancome Bifacil does which I give it creds for but these kind of uh, cleansers always leave my face feeling really really oily and I don't love that about that so this literally has been in my collection for years at this point and it's small small but mighty it did take me a very long time to get it out of my collection because I just didn't love to use it so ultimately what I ended up doing was using it to put onto my makeup eraser when I was done doing a video where I was doing swatches like my palette roulette videos or something and utilize it as a makeup remover in that way I don't like buying wipes so and sometimes this was just easier than a makeup eraser with just water on it. This is the Tula So Poreless, which is a deep exfoliating blackhead scrub. And I did use this in my shower. I typically will use scrubs like this in my shower just so that it's a little cleaner, a little less messy for me to use. I don't necessarily think that this was awful, but I also don't necessarily know that it did anything i don't suffer from things like blackheads i guess i should have given it to my daughter but my daughter doesn't also she also doesn't suffer from blackheads hers is more like really acneic right like whiteheads not blackheads so i don't necessarily know that this worked but i did like it as a scrub i did feel like it was gentle enough to be like even something that I used every day if I did I used it every other day for the most part and only in the shower not like over the sink or anything is one of those products that could leave a mess and it is gray in color and the consistency is you know a little less solidified than say even the tree hut sugar scrub so the granules in there for like cleansing or exfoliating are a lot more sporadic in it than a lot of other like facial scrubs that I've used in the past but I didn't mind it I I do feel like my skin was clean after using it I just don't know how well it would work towards like clearing blackheads because I didn't have that problem I also used up a full thing of the um lashes they are by kiss and they are the press on lashes that have the glue already in them and you press them to the underside of your lashes and press them on and then they stay on they're supposed to last for 24 hours i will tell you they absolutely do these lashes are a game changer for those of you who want to wear lashes but don't because you don't know how to get them on appropriately or because you just can't be bothered these are amazing and I say that from experience because I can't be bothered and because I don't know what I'm doing with a band lash. These ones though were the curly and I didn't realize until after I had started using them that there were three different lengths in this pack because there's not three different lengths in the other packs that I've used. I don't know that I loved these as much as I love just the regular wispy ones that are you know the ones that I buy for I wish more of them came in this kind of like refill pack than what I see really great lashes I love using them and the biggest problem I see with them is that I use multiple of them at a time anywhere from four to like six sections at a time so that pack of like 30 sections only lasts a few applications because you can't reuse them which is a bummer but also like totally understandable I also have this which is the Dermalogica stress positive eye lift serum or cream or whatever it is not really something I saw a huge difference from utilizing in my skincare routine I don't know that this was doing anything for my eye area but I mean I used it up it says it's a high performance eye treatment and mask energizes skin to reduce visible signs of stress I don't know I can't give you an answer to that I don't feel like it did anything to my under eyes if I'm honest I also have like a hair like color depositing thing 
And this is by Biolage, actually. This is different than the conditioner ones that I normally use. This is Biolage Color Balm in Lavender, which is a, a color depositing conditioner. This was nice. It was good. I think that it worked well. I would probably continue to go back to Caracolor Conditioner just because it's what I'm used to. I also don't feel like these come in all the colors that I need for my hair and the vivid colors that I put into it. But I mean, it was nice. It worked in a pinch. I have been out of conditioner for a minute. That was a beautiful like purpley tone. It just wasn't as color depositing as I'm used to from Caracolor. I have a couple tools and that is it. These two tools. So I do have a, actually I have two sponges. One being this one that I just used today and realized that it's got a ton of like rips and tears in it. And I don't typically keep a sponge in my collection after it started to rip and tear because that's like a breeding ground for bacteria this one is the same this one is so freaking dirty it's so foul dirty so there's that I didn't clean it before I put it in here but this one has got a ton of rips and stains as well this one is a beauty blender brand and it lasted forever this one is an Ulta beauty brand also lasted forever I've literally I think had one or two of these in my collection for like going on eight months at this point in time I keep them very clean I promise you and or I'm disgusted by my nastiness for keeping a sponge in my collection for eight years or eight months it's just they last for a very long time Ulta Beauty brand is really good the only reason why I have Beauty Blender in my collection honestly is because it's given to me in gratis on occasion the last tool that I have is this one and this is a Esom brush this is the s31 brush and i love this brush it's a little pencil brush i used to use it to buff out my uh, lash line this has been a part of my makeup journey since right after i started in the youtube space so a good six years it's been cleaned over and over and over again i use the same cleaning products that i use on every other brush in my collection i've used on this brush it's just a brush that, you know, seen better days, saw its last day today while I was cleaning it and the brush piece went into the component and I cannot get it back out. And even if I could get it back out, I'm not sure that it would ever be the same. <laughs> so this brush is going. So sad, sad day. I love you some brushes. I have quite a few of them, but that one is no longer a part of my journey. Um, but it had a good long seven year reign in my collection. I got it at the same time as I purchased my Viseart Dark Mats and Sultry Muse because it came as a free item with purchase with a couple of other brushes in there by this Get This Sale BTGT sale that they used to do. I don't know if they still do it on Muse Beauty. That is it. Those are the beauty empties that I have over the last couple months. Uh, I'm not, I'm not really quite certain how many months it's been since I did my last one, but I wanted to get these out of my bucket because as I said, I am getting ready and prepared for my year of empties video that I do every single year going through the beauty empties that I had. And that is all things makeup and beauty, skincare, all the things. And it's pretty iconic every year. So, uh, I have to prep for it weeks and weeks in advance. I needed to get these into my empties bin that is no longer the ones that I haven't went over with you. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you want to see that year of empties video coming very, very soon your way, um, probably sometime in the first couple weeks of January, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That way you are notified for every video that I do post. I always have a ton of empties and the dollars of empties, the dollar's value of the empties that I have is pretty enormous. Like I said, I am a high-end lover. So typically my beauty empties are pretty large in price point. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you all enjoyed the video. I hope that you and yours are well, that you are safe, that you are healthy, that you are getting along as best you can in this crazy world that you are safe and sane still through the holiday period, that you're getting through it 
And if you're not, please let me know. Please hit me up. You guys, I feel the same. I can speak your language and I am here for you if you need an ear. Let me know what you loved about the empties that I had. Let me know your thoughts and opinions if you've used these items. And with that said, until next time, bye friends.